Hey, what's going on? These things are like five bucks. They're like matte black polarized glasses. Amazon, man. I don't know. They got a bunch of stuff over there. I'll put a link down below. If you, yeah, I don't know. They're great. What's going on? We're back for uh, some more tutorial type plugins video, and I got three plugins for you guys today. Technically, they're scripts, so don't look at it as plugins. Let's just call them scripts for now, because that's kind of what they are. But you'll think of them as plugins. They're scripts. Now, don't get scared by this. It's not that complicated. There's literally a script bar inside of OBS. Nice and simple. I kid you not. Don't worry. This is very easy. We got three things to talk about here today. We got uh, an effect. We have kind of a, a color correction thing. And then we also have a moving of your camera kind of a thing. I'll get into that later. So to start with the number one, we're going to look at color curves. Now, most people, when you do color correction and whatnot, you got the simple, you know, saturation, brightness and all that kind of stuff. But today I'm here to talk about a brand new kind of concept and it's kind of color grading using a, uh, a script called uh, curves. So we're going to look at color curves. Really simple. Look at this here on, uh, we got an instance of OBS open. So uh, look at this inside of uh, OBS. I got a little scene here. Don't worry about the secondary caps card. It's like my PlayStation that will just look past that. We got this four in one caps card. If you want to know more about that, <laughs> it's up in the, uh, the top side of the screen here did the capture card it's pretty cool man four capture card inputs in one all 1080p 60 it's great i'm gonna go ahead and select that because that's my camera i'm gonna go ahead and add an effect right click and and i'm gonna go down to color curves now it's called color curves this is coming in from caver all the plugins today are from caver k-h-a-v-e-r caver it's on i don't know the forums on obs go check it out sometime so i'm gonna go ahead and hit uh okay and now we got a bunch of uh curves and such here let me go and slide this on over now you can see this is our entire screen so uh yeah you got some uh, some curves over here now some cool stuff in here because like i i love color correction normally when you have color correction in here you add some color correction come down to color correction hit okay yeah, this is all you got you got gamma you know you got uh you got contrast you got brightness and uh saturation you got the hue shift thing and you got the opacity i'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy Go back to color curves and this can do everything for you. You got to look at stuff in this like highlights, midtones, and shadows. So if I want to go ahead and uh, change this up, maybe go a little bit like matrix mode or something like that. I can always dial up that green, maybe a little more green in the midtones too. And now I got this kind of green looking imagery. Now I grant that I have these lights on the background, so that doesn't really help, but there you go. So what better way to get yourself a brand new Instagram type look and filter here than to come in and start to really dialing, you know, some different kind of uh, colors and effects and whatnot, you know, so everything can change based on how you want to how you want to do your own color. Now, this doesn't look the best, but I'm sure you can start to uh, dial it in and keep it nice and uh, you know fresh looking so you know don't go crazy on this stuff but definitely you know give it a spin and see what you can do there's a bunch of different features here to to try things out so if you want yourself like a different looking kind of color grade maybe this is for you now one other thing i, uh, I want to kind of talk about is a thing called chromatic aberration now again coming from caver this thing's kind of a more uh, a playful kind of effect that you can apply to your videos or whatever you want gameplay anything you want so if i come over here and i come to my uh, effects yet again add a nice little effect come down here to chromatic aberration hit okay and you're seeing that the image kind of already got skewed so if i keep clicking this on and off you can see it's getting a little weird looking right it's almost getting a little fish eye or something like that so i'm going to turn this on and if you see this little checkbox down here it's going to bring up a big circle and that big circle is going to represent what is happening but it's on the outside of the circle that's what's being affected so if i go ahead and uh, lower this little circle down and then bring it back up you're seeing the whole image skew right there but if you pay attention to my lights over here on the uh the left hand side of your screen you're noticing that they start to get some chromatic aberration in there so what i can do is i can start to adjust the different chromatic aberrations that are uh shifting and whatnot so if i really want a nice kind of shifting greenish cyan looking red you know chromatic aberration i can do that so you can just come down here turn off the little show protect area and now this is kind of maybe uh maybe glitchy feeling and whatnot so if this is something that uh caters towards your stream and your style then this is something you can apply to uh your stream right now why not just give it a shot you know have some fun with it i always love playing with new tools and features and whatnot i think this thing's kind of cool so uh, you know, check it out if you want. Now, moving on to our last script, we got this thing called uh, Pan, Zoom, and Rotate. Again, coming in from uh, Caver over here. So if I right-click, add a nice little Pan, Zoom, and Rotate, it's going to do exactly that. 
I've always wanted to rotate my things very subtly, and this is the way to do it. Nice and simple. Grab this little uh, this little slider, and then you can start to turn as you want. So no big deal to go ahead and uh, just do something really simple here, and then boom, little subtle change right there. Boom. Just like that, nice and simple. You don't have to worry too much about it. And if you gotta move your camera a little bit, you know, you could simply be right here and move it around manually, or you can just move it inside of the uh, the thing itself. So, you know, if you wanted to cut off your image like that, you could. I mean, th this is it. This is, I just wanted to show you something so simple, but it's so effective. So, you know, keep in mind, this could be something that you might want. I don't know, you gotta figure this thing out, man. But, you know, appreciate you guys watching. Nice little couple script video here and that's it so how do you install these things well they come in a zip folder and uh, you just download it right from the forums I'll leave the links down below right click on that folder extract all hit enter it's gonna extract it to wherever you are you're gonna go ahead and open up that folder and inside that folder you're gonna see a dot lua file or lua whatever you want to call it you're gonna need to drag this into a, uh, a place in which you can reference all your scripts so for now, I'm gonna leave this here. I end up moving this file though. So here, check this out. You go back into OBS, go up to tools, scroll down to scripts. So right here, you got this screen in which you have all your scripts. Now this will be blank when you first open it up, but all you gotta do is go over here, hit the plus button, and then uh, this is where it's normally gonna show you a different amount of scripts. And right off the bat, you do get some in here like the countdown timer, the clock source and some other things. But uh, all I do is I take this file and I just simply drag it into here. Now it's already in there, so I don't need to do this, but it's in there now. And now once it's in there, I go ahead and just look for it, click on it, hit okay. And then just like that, it's installed. So pretty freaking cool if I do say so myself. Let's just go full screen here. You know, this could be my look. I don't know. Add the color correction. Add the tweak. Add the zoom. Add the this and the color. And it, the whole thing looks cool, man. This is super different to me, and I think it's something worth uh, worth talking about. That's it. That's this whole video. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, this was simple enough to follow along. Get get out there and enjoy some new scripts on the house. All right. I like I didn't make them, but you can you can use them if you want. I'll, the links down below for everything. I'll even include the, the link to these glasses, which I feel like are kind of stylish you know what i'm saying i don't know they're like matte black they feel like shark skin they're kind of cool you know what i'm saying anyways take care uh did you know i live stream yeah, twitch.tv slash activator although maybe i'll stream here too sometime soon get you soon bye